okay so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can make the ready player one effect very easily very simple in blender and it looks something like this we're going to make this effect this very same effect in blender right here right now and uh, uh, so this model was not made by me this was made by this guy Kat Madovsky, Kat Madovsky. don't know I can't pronounce this sorry uh, so this is the model right here you can download it from cgtrader.com I'll pu put a link in this description uh, now uh, okay so go ahead in blender I have made this uh, very simple road so you can uh, preview it on this road and it looks cool on that so uh, just very basic road basic textures uh, from textures.com uh, now go ahead and import uh, this FBX file that I had for this uh, wait a second uh, what was it? yes this right here it's gonna take some time to load oh oh my god oh okay uh, so you can see that it has loaded up and it's uh, missing some of the textures and uh, really this basic thing is that in these textures where you can see uh, there's no shading on this it's because it has the full metallic on it and it's fully black so you just fix that and you're good to go uh, so fix that for all, all of these black textures that you see right here it's sort of a problem with the import uh, imp uh, so do that i'm not gonna do this for the purpose of this tutorial I'm, i want to keep it short so just uh now go ahead and select all of your uh, things except the light and the camera and the road and i'm gonna create a new collection and i'm gonna press m and move it to that collection okay now close that and I'm also gonna enable my screencast key so you can see what I'm doing uh, okay good uh, okay so I'm gonna select all these by uh, right clicking here and clicking select objects and uh, I'm gonna just scale it down a bit oh, actually I'm gonna choose the three years okay All right, there we go. Uh, probably just move it down a bit. Okay, so we want to make it uh, a single object so that we don't have a lot of fuss to deal with, you know, with every single object of this. So with all of these selected, hit Control J and it will create one object for this entire car. Uh, now that's good because we want two of these one is for the solid car right here and one for its wireframe version because you you saw in that video that it had a blue wireframe version of this uh, a, a blue glowy one right so we want that uh, now the thing that builds this out of thin air is only one modifier that's called the build modifier uh, right here okay so we're gonna hit that and it will disappear now the reason it disappeared because uh, that's because it's gonna make this entire model out of thin air piece by piece like this okay and it's gonna take a hundred frames for that because the length is set to 100 you can set it to any uh, large amount you want if you want a real slow animation then you can do that as well uh, if you hit reversed it will do the opposite it will disintegrate it uh, into thin air and that's a pretty great effect as well but we don't want that we want it to appear so that's good you could also check randomize it's optional uh, it uh, will randomly select some faces uh, if you don't check it it will select uh, a chunks of it at a time and appear it on that it's really up to you so if you press play it will do kind of like this and it's a pretty heavy simulation to do uh, not exactly a simulation 
but it's still pretty heavy thing to do that's why you can see it's going really slowly uh, if you have a good computer you might not find this the case but uh, so we know that it's working all right and up to the hundred frame it will be pretty completely done okay so now for the the cool thing right the wireframe version of this so like this I'm not gonna preview it right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my collection and right click and select duplicate collection it will duplicate my collection as well as a duplicated object as you can see uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we want I'll uncheck this collection the original one uh, for what we want it to do it's to be wireframed at first and then uh, have it built so I'm gonna select the wireframe modifier you can see it takes a bit of time because oh look what it is so to remove these spiky things just hit e uncheck even thickness and it should be okay oh. so you can see that it's not appearing that's because the thickness is way way too low uh, just put something like 0.3 okay so that's good now we don't want any of these textures right here for this we don't want anything like you can see there's some red texture right here and this reflector type thingy so go ahead and uh, oh well, there are a lot of textures here okay so just I'm gonna just select one of these on the bottom and select minus the sign right here and it will delete that material from this okay so I will do all of that and come back to you okay so I have deleted every uh, material from this slot and I'm gonna create a new material you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna call it glowy and I'm gonna uh, select the emission shader and I'm gonna make it a little blue one I think and I'm gonna increase its strength good I'm gonna enable blue and uh, all right that looks pretty good I'm gonna check the wireframe modifier to see how it looks uh, I think it's a bit too strong right now um, and also I think it needs to be a little more saturated and a little bit more to the oh, okay I think I like this uh, you can play around with it okay we're gonna go with that uh, now if you see the original model right here uh, it looks pretty cool and we're, we want to do the same thing to the wireframe version for this I'm just gonna rename it wireframe and I'm gonna name it original okay okay so uh, what we wanna do is one we want first the wireframe model to appear when the effect starts and then the solid model should follow just behind it so the way we're gonna do that is uh, in the original model uh, build modifier we wanna just uh, have it a bit of delay so we gonna I don't know maybe start it at 10 10th so it will start at the 10th frame uh, the original solid one and the wireframe one uh, will start at the first frame so the wireframe model would, will appear first and then the solid model with will appear afterwards so it will look cool uh, now you wanna press play just go ahead be warned it will uh, cost you a lot of computer time okay 
so that's a little bit of how it's gonna happen okay if you check randomize uh, on this it it will look even cooler I think sort of uh, it's really up to you uh, you know I think if you check randomize on the wireframe model and not on the solid model it looks good so I'm gonna just leave it at that and we are pretty much done guys this is all it is to the effect it's made very simple now uh, you can add some finishing touches like if we go on the shader editor and go to the wireframe model uh, you can see it has one emission shader right here so what we want is for it to disappear at the end of our simulation which is a hundred frames so in the end we want it to disappear so around uh, so what you can do is you can mix it by adding a mix shader and adding a transparent shader so you can mix it with the transparent shader and it will and you can animate it going away like this right uh, but uh, the thing is it's way too uniform so add a noise texture and add a color ramp plug the factor into the factor and the color into the factor input of this mix shader okay now you see if you just uh, pull this white slider down you can see it disappears in a really cool sort of way right so what you can do is you can animate this slider instead of the original factor to go from here to here around in the end of this our animation so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the 75th frame and I'm gonna uh, select the white and I'm gonna set its position to be a keyframe right uh, now I'm gonna go to the 90th I'm gonna just drag the slider down till it disappears almost entirely like that and hit I on there okay so in the middle of 75 and 90th frame you can see that the effect disintegrates in a really cool noisy kind of way so that's good and uh, you can add a little even more things like you know uh, you can even add this same technique of uh, mixing it with the transparent shader on the solid model as well uh, when around the start when it appears so that looks even way more cooler uh, but we are pretty much done here so just select your camera and render it out or what you can do to render it is you can add a curve circle and uh, you can scale it up and move it a bit upwards and you can go ahead and grab your camera and maybe uh, snap it right here by clicking ctrl alt zero okay uh, move it a bit there um, a bit down and uh, scale up the circle a bit and uh, go to the camera and go to its constraints object constraints and add a follow path and in the target select the circle and you can see the camera shifted right there that's not a problem just click alt G and it will come back uh, now uh, on the first frame uh, hit I on this offset settings this is the one that's gonna move it around and on the hundredth frame uh, on the offset now set a hundred and insert keyframe uh, 
now uh, this camera will go around in this in this curve and it's gonna follow it but it's not gonna move uh, on its rotation so just go on the 50th 50th frame uh, and we are gonna do is we're gonna just move move it uh, along its z-axis uh, right in this direction okay and I'm gonna set I and uh, on the on the zeroth frame just click zero and hit I and on the last frame come on I might wanna get an upgrade in a few days and then around 160 minus 160 I'm gonna set another keyframe now it will go around the camera in the right direction um, okay where it is huh I guess could have mistaken it uh, so anyways that's really up to you how you want to do this but at the end of the day you have created a kick-ass effect guys ready player one effect under under uh, just one modifier that's pretty cool okay uh, so that's it I'm gonna see you another time with another cool tutorial and thanks for watching if you haven't liked and subscribe to this video and subscribe to my channel please I please I would recommend you to do that I'm gonna make a lot of cool stuff like this so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time